A bill to legalize ticket scalping passed the state house yesterday that would repeal a law from 1931 that prohibits tickets to events like college and professional sports or concerts for being sold for more than face value without permission from the venue's owner. Sponsored legislation is Tim Kelly from Saginaw, and he says it's giving individual ticket holders the same rights as the ticket outlets. Now that goes to the Senate now. And a lot of people say, well, you bought the ticket, you own it. Why can't you sell it for whatever you want? Michael Lepp. Yes, sir. Um, the, the ticket scalpers that are outside the I've got or, you know, anybody need tickets, I've got tickets. The signs need tickets. Do you think tickets. they take a hit from this or do you think that they feel more free from this? Well, I, I never know who, if that's genuine, if they really want a ticket or they're just brokering. True. You know, if you see a guy who says, need tickets. Maybe he wants to go to the game, or maybe he just wants to buy your ticket and then walk down the block and sell it for more. Exactly. I never really know. But, but you know who they are, the guys that are either trying to get tickets to sell them or they got tickets to sell. Do you think that they're like going to have a better have chance? They've got yeah. them, and they've got to sell yeah, them. Yeah, I need them, and I'm selling them. Be, be, well, I never understand why they don't get arrested either. That's true, too. I know if I went and stood outside Comerica Park with a pair of tickets because I just couldn't go to the game, I'd get arrested. Yep. I just know my luck would be that way. Isn't that a Seinfeld episode, I think? Probably. They're, you know, but but, their guys are there every day. They don't get arrested. Yep. But it, I'd be pinched. They're standing right next to officers half the time, too. Exactly. So but, I don't understand the enforcement of the rule to begin with. I think it takes them out within five to ten years. Because, I mean, the thing is, is unless you, you're at the last moment there, there's going to be websites that just... And that's another thing you bring up, the websites. I, I see tickets for sale. All the, I bought tickets. Yep. Is that legal? Well, I bought tickets for a Tigers-Yankees game a few years ago. It was like $2 for the ticket, and then you can go on there sometime, and it's triple the price. $2. <laughs> Get that. Jack Nowakowski is going to speak. I think it has to do with where you're located. I think you can only be with it. You have to be outside of like a 1,000 feet of the stadium. Oh. Like, well, that's part of the law? I think. So you can't be like parked in front of the box office, ticket office, yeah. and then being like, I got them for five bucks cheaper. That's well, why that's I... because if there were tickets still available from the Tigers, let's <laughs> say, and you were shorting them, but you're selling for under face value. Yeah, yeah. see, I don't get it. But I think I think it has to do with like, because you'll watch as you get closer to the stadium, those people start to disappear. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be like now with the technology, it'll be like buying an airline ticket. You buy a ticket, <laughs> that's your seat, your name's on it. If you want to, if you want to, can't use it or whatever, there'd be a fee probably. There, there are events that have moved already to that where your name is on there. You cannot do a, a secondary market whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So if you don't go, sorry, you're not. Nobody's gonna be there. Non that doesn't seem fair though either, does it? No. You so bought it. You own it. I don't know. So anyway, we'll see what happens if it goes to the house. But they, I, they have tricks with online too, where the ticket is two dollars, but you're gonna get a. Uh, uh, a pennant that says the Wolverines <laughs> Some and that costs $250. Yeah. That's how I think they get around for selling it um, over the face value.